Hi guys, it's Scott here from View Haven, and today I'm going to be bringing you some racket skills and drills. Nice and simple stuff, okay? You can do this in school, at home, or anyway, you've got a little space, okay, that you're able to swing and not hit things besides. So as long as you've got enough space, you can do this pretty much anyway. All right, all you need is a racket. Now this can be a racket like this, okay? Or it can be a plastic racket, that's absolutely fine. It works exactly the same. You can use a tennis ball, okay? You can use a sponge ball or a plastic ball, anything that bounces a little bit and you can hit a little bit, all right? So anything you can get your hands on, anything that you can have one each. Now for our warm up, we're gonna have a little go at copying a few types of shots that I'm going to do. I'm gonna show you how to do them. Okay, we've got the forehand, we've got the backhand, we're going to have a go at the smash or the serve, they're quite similar. And we're going to get into the ready position, and I'm going to show you what that is in a second. So, the ready position, first one, is I'm going to face this way, okay, when I do them, just so that you guys can mirror me, alright, so you don't get confused with your left and right, alright. So the ready position, when we're in our position, I want you to stand with your feet shoulders width apart, two hands on the racket, I want you to sway from side to side, okay? So that you're ready if the ball goes that way or that way, okay, if you're in a match, you're ready to go. Now, forehand, okay, looking at our grip, your strongest hand, the one you feel most comfortable with, I want you to put on the bottom, okay? Now, forehand is one-handed, okay, we're gonna stand this side, so I'm left-handed, so I'm standing with my left, got my left side with my left hand at the bottom of the racket. Okay, I'm gonna bring my arm back, start outside of my body and swing across, okay, with one hand. My backhand shot is gonna have two hands, so this, your weaker hand, or the one that you're not holding with your forehand, I want you to put just on top, nice and tight, okay, and I want you to swing back and across with two hands. Okay, so forehand, one handed, bring it back and across, two hands, bring it back and across. Okay, we're not using the ball at the moment, we'll bring that in in a little bit. So, the last one that we're going to look at is the smash or the serve. Now, this one's above your head, so you're going to bend your racket just above your head, use your other arm as a bit of a guide. Okay, all I want you to do when I say smash is I want you to straighten your arm out and Imagine you're smashing the ball, okay? So you're bringing your arm back, it's bent, the other arms is a bit of a guide, smash, and imagine you're hitting the ball, okay? Now, I'm gonna shout at each one, I'm gonna be facing that way, are we ready? We're gonna go for about one minute, okay? Get yourselves ready. Are we ready, guys? Three, two, one, go. Ready position, forehand. Bring your arm back and swing. Back to the ready position. Swing from side to side. Backhand. Get yourself and swing. Ready position. Swing from side to side. Forehand. Ready. Forehand. Ready. Smash. Bend your arm and smash. Forehand. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Backhand. Forehand. So grab yourself your ball, okay, we're going to have a little go at balancing our ball on our racket to start with, okay, and we're going to have a go at parking our car, which I'll explain in a second. Now, just before we start, I want you to get that grip nice and correct. So can we hold our racket just as we would do and have our thumb pointed down towards the head of the racket? Can everybody see that? Pointing down to the head of the racket so your thumb is right in the middle. Okay, use your left or right hand, whichever you feel more comfortable with. 
All right. To start with, what I want you to do, okay, is put your racket, sorry, put your ball on top of the racket, okay, and you're going to have a go standing still to try and tilt the racket back so that your ball goes in between the triangle on your racket. Okay, so I'm going to show you that again. All right. You're tilting using your racket, using two hands. Can you tilt it back into, where's it going to go? Into the gap in your racket. Okay, now if you've got a plastic racket and it hasn't got a triangle gap, what I want you to do is I want you to keep it on the racket. So I don't want you to it to fall off. All right, so I want you to try and keep it in the middle of the racket. We're going to have a go at that for 30 seconds, guys. Okay, 30 seconds, and then we're going to move on. All right, I'll be ready. So, three, two, one, go. Two hands, can we tilt it back and stop the ball? Once you've stopped it, pop it back in the middle. Ready, off you go. We tilt it back, stop it in the middle, pop it back. Every time you get it in between the triangle and the racket, you get one point. Okay, how many times can you do it? Try not to let the ball touch the ground. Try and keep it in the air all times. Let's try and stop it from touching the ground. Stop. Okay, good work, well done. This time, exactly the same, okay? But this time, we're gonna do it jogging on the spot. So we're gonna be moving a little bit, okay? That's gonna make it a little bit harder for us to keep the racket still and to get the ball to go where we want it to. Okay, so we need a little bit more control. So I'm going to be jogging on the spot. Again, you can have two hands, but this time I want you to try and get it in between, which might be difficult. Okay, two points this time. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. So I'm jogging on the spot. I've got it back in. Pop it back up the top. Try and tilt it back down. Oh, I missed that time. I've hit the floor. I need to put it back on. Tilt it down. Good. Tilt it back, good. Keep going, last few seconds. Can you get as many points as you can? Jogging on the spot, don't go too much, just to put you in a little bit more control. Last Stop. few seconds, good work, well done. So, we've had a go at doing it, Stand still. We've had a go at doing it, jogging on the spot. This time, I want to have a go with one hand, okay? So, again, Ball in the middle, this time with one hand. I want you to put your other hand behind your back so you're not tempted to use it. This one is harder, okay? Now if you want for an extra challenge, if you want to jog on the spot, that's fine. If you don't want to jog on the spot, okay, you want to just do it stood still, that's fine as well. That's your choice, okay? Maybe you can try standing still and then go into a jog, okay? Are we ready? 30 seconds, five points for every time you park the car. Are we ready? Three. Two, one, go. So I'm going to go and jump on the spot for this one. Can I stop it? Yes. You can grab the ball with the other hand and go to that spot. Okay, can I do it still, still? Yes, I can. Put it back at the top. And I tilt it back. It's got stuck. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Good. Jog on the spot. I'm going to have a go at jogging on this one. Can I tilt it? Oh, I've missed. There we go. Stop. Good work, guys. Well done. Okay, guys, moving on. Now we're going to have a go at bounce and catching using our racket. So to start with, what I want you to do, again, always have a racket in your strong hand, the one you feel more comfortable with, whether that's left or right. I want you to hold it at the bottom of the racket like we did um, for our forehand and backhand in our warm-up. Ball is in the other hand, okay, doesn't matter what type of ball. All I want you to do, 30 seconds, okay, we're going to bounce the ball once, we're going to try and bounce it on the floor, and then we're going to try and catch it in the hand that we bounce the ball with. Okay, so the hand that's free, we're going to bounce the ball, so I'm going to show you that again. Bounce the ball, bounce with the racket, and catch. Now don't worry if you don't catch it all the time, you might make two or three catches, you might not make any catches, don't worry, you're already catching with one hand, it is tricky. Now a little tip that we can remember is when we catch our ball, can we bring it to our chest? So can we bring it closer to our chest to keep it safe so it doesn't bounce off 
and then we have to go and chase it. So can we do that ball closer? Don't bounce it too high. The ball goes too high, it's much harder to catch. Try and mount the ball up to your waist, to your mid area of your body, no higher. Alright? That's the easiest place for us to catch it. Are we ready? 30 seconds. How many bounces can you do? You get one point for each catch. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Bounce and catch. And catch. Can we keep control of the ball? Maybe pick a spot on the floor. Who can pick a spot on the floor and see if we can bounce it on that spot every time? Good work, keep going. Halfway through. Don't worry about going too fast. Stop. Keep control. Good work, guys. Well done. Okay. Don't worry if you found that a bit tricky. All right. We're now gonna, I'm gonna have to give you a bit of a challenge. So you might do the same sort of thing, okay, for another 30 seconds. Or you might try and bounce the ball with the racket more times before you catch it, okay? So this time, I want you to decide how many times you think you can bounce it before you catch it. So I might bounce the ball, one, two, three, and then I might catch it. That would be worth three points, okay? I might bounce it once, catch it. Then you get one point. I might bounce it seven times, I think that was. That's worth seven points. You only get your points if you can catch the ball, okay? So catching the ball, you get the points. Bounce as many times as you think you can do, and then try and catch it. Are we ready? 30 seconds. You might want to have a couple of goes, but we're going to do it for 30 seconds. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Here we go, go. Four, can I catch it? Yes, I can. Six, you might keep bouncing. You might keep bouncing if you can. And then catch it. I lost count, then I don't know how many I have. Good, three. Again, try and pick a spot if you can on the floor. Stop. Okay, good work. You notice how my ball is always below my racket. Okay, the ball goes above my racket, I then have to wait for the ball to then fall down, which means I can't bounce it as fast and I can't be as accurate. Okay, well done, guys, good stuff. Okay, guys, so moving on from bouncing, hitting and bouncing and catching, we're going to have a go at hitting the ball in the air now. Now, a little bit trickier. I would say personally, okay. Again, you can only catch one handed because we've got our racket in our other hand. So, a little demonstration, holding the ball in our hand, okay. Racket, the same as when you're balancing. So think about how you held it when you were balancing the racket, or sorry, balancing the ball on top, okay. Thumb pointing down towards the big head of the racket, all right, fingers underneath. I want you to throw the ball in the air, not too high. You might even want to just drop it onto the racket. Alright, you're going to hit and then you're going to try and catch. Remember, can we bring it into our chest? Okay, can we keep it all nice and safe? Alright, so, show you once more, hit and catch into our chest. Notice how the ball isn't going very high. I don't want it to go really high because we know that it's much harder to catch the ball the farther and the higher the ball goes. So we're just looking to hit the ball a little bit and catch. No higher than your eye line. So try and think, where's my eyes? I don't want to hit the ball any higher than my eye line. All right? Are we ready, guys? 30 seconds. Don't worry if you drop it a few times. Okay, this is tricky. We are moving on. Okay, it's getting a bit harder. But try your very best. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Bounce and catch. Bounce and catch. Try and keep that ball as low as you can. Catch. Bring it into our chest. Keep it a bit safer. Especially if the ball's coming towards our body. Catch it in by our body. Keep it nice and safe. If the ball goes a bit further away, you might not need to use your body. A few more seconds. Stop. Ball catches. Oh, good. Well done. Okay, so we've had a go at hitting and catching. Now, a little challenge for you guys. Okay, we're mixing up our balance and our control with our hitting on the racket. So, Ball in hand, 
This time, we're gonna hit it once. We're not gonna catch it. This time, we're gonna try and control it back on our wrapper. So a little bit like a frying pan, okay? So you fly around, you flick it, okay? You're cooking pancakes. This time, we're gonna hit it, but we're gonna try and control. So I want you to hold it and have control. Use two hands, okay, to start with. If you feel like you can do one hand, okay, have a couple of those with one hand. All right, I'm gonna show you once more. Throw the ball in the air, hit, and control. Okay, 30 seconds, are we ready? This time, two points for every time you can control the ball onto the racket without it falling off. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Good. Keep an eye on the ball, keep your eyes on the keep your head nice and still. Try not to wave that racket around too much. Roll that ball, always bounce a little bit. Don't worry if it falls off, just go and grab it. See if you can control that ball. Stop. Good, well done guys. Now that is a bit trickier. You might find, you might drop it a few, a few times to start with, but if you want to have another go at both, have another go at both, because they are a bit trickier. Have a couple of goes, see if you can beat your previous score. Good work guys, well done.